y'all. Welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah with a mini Dollar Tree haul. That's right. I went to Dollar Tree, the brand new one, a brand spanking new uh, in Livonia, Georgia, so I could pick up a few things. Actually, I just went in to walk around more than anything else. And, you know, I, you can't just walk around Dollar Tree and not buy something. It, I don't know if it's a rule or something. Um, oh, get the sodas out. Sorry, got a friend here who I'm like, you know, giving directions to, like I'm some kind of director or something, because I forgot about one of the things I wanted to show in the hall. Anyhow, we're going to start with random stuff. Oh, I gave you a little sneak peek there. Haha, -ha, random stuff. They have a lot of gardening stuff there right now, and I decided to pick up another one of these. I bought one last week. You know, they're buck twenty-five for most of their things now, and this is just one of those little greenhouse starters where you, you know, put the little lid on for moisture and stuff. Starting some seeds, it's it'll do right buck 25 thank you I will go ahead and show these so they can go back in the fridge they have got Jones a few flavors of Jones sodas yes about 25 for a soda maybe a bit much but you don't get these often or I don't get them often and this is orange and cream and I will probably share this with my hubby because um, I shouldn't drink all the sugar you know, these are made with pure cane sugar, which makes them taste better, quite honestly. But there's that. And they've got this interesting one. I've gotten this before, but I don't think I've ever showed you. <clears throat> Italian-style dark cream soda. It's just yummy. It's, it's a cream soda, and I love cream soda. And again, I will share this because real soda with... I don't know if this has real sugar or if this has... Oh, it just says sugar. Filtered carbonated water, sugar, and, and the other things that are usually in sodas. But it's an interesting flavor. It's not your typical Coke or Pepsi. Thank you. They can go back in the fridge. Now, <clears throat> pardon me. Woo. Other things that I got. Uh, looking to try out a new bathroom cleaner. This one has bleach in it. I like the stuff with bleach. And I have tiles. So that, you know, buck 25. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. This is something I've bought before and that I will probably keep buying. This is one of those pull up. It, you know, makes things smell nice. It smell pretty stuff designed to fight tough odors I actually put this opened up on the back of my commode just sitting there because my commodes on like a little cubby and this just adds a nice little scent over there it's it's nice without being overwhelming it's a solid it's not a spray and this one is Hawaiian breeze yeah it smells vaguely tropical it's all good and I forgot this got these for the hubby because he likes to just sit and eat olives Ripe pitted olives. Dollar twenty-five for a six ounce can is actually not bad. Um, I think Walmart's are more expensive. So we'll see if he likes whatever this variety is. He can give him a shot. If he doesn't, we don't buy him again. It's all good. Now, in the thumbnail, you saw this, the little greenhouse doohickey, and you saw something colorful. Woohoo! Let me give it a little wave here. Whoa. Yep, just a tease. There will be more showing of this here. I found something that I thought might be fun and interesting. It's called, it's for ages six plus. I'm over six now, so, you know, that'll work. Um, scratch art. 50 pieces, okay? In this little kit, you get 50 sheets of this stuff that you scratch off, and underneath is like rainbow colored whatever, whatever. And you get a thing to scratch it off with, which is essentially a blunted down short chopstick, I'm guessing. That's what it looks like to me. It's just black stuff. And let's demo it right now. Let's see what, what happens. Oh, cool, cool. Just drew a D and underneath it, it's green. And I have a feeling it's gonna be messy. When you do this and scratch it off, you get the little black stuff all over the place, but that's okay. It's just a little fun thing. And at a buck 25 for 50 of these little things, that's really not bad. I think that's a fun little product. Um, I love scratch art stuff. And yeah, it looks all rainbowy and stuff underneath. So, cool. Oh, another random thing. Binder clips. I use these for papers. I use them for chip bags sometimes. Um, and I have seen somebody, um, that's right, Ashley from Stitchin' Ain't Easy. She showed us a hack to where you put these on top of a bin that you have or whatever and you can have your yarn running through that so it's like 
a yarn ball holder and this is what guides your yarn. I thought that was very clever, very cool. I might do that with these. I might just use them for chip bags. You never know. What else do I have in here? Okay, everything else in here is similar. Oh, and this is one of those uh, book holders. There, it's in the school supply section. Buck 25, book bin, and I bought it specifically to hold stickers because apparently I have a sticker problem. If you've ever gotten a card from me, you know this because there's lots of stickers. Oh, but there's some pretty stickers in Dollar Tree. Look at this. Look at the little dragonflies and the glitter and the sparkles. Oh my gosh, I had to have those. I love these, what they call them pop-up stickers. The back lays down and then there's another layer that kind of pops up and you really get a cool 3D effect. And yes, they're glittery and sparkly and stuff too. These are cool. They call them metallics. Yeah, they have a metallic sheen to them. They're pretty flowers. They're sort of raised in 3D. It's not just a flat sticker. Love that. Up by the registers, I saw this. Super Sparkle Sticker Book Prismatic Stickers. A lot of cool things, you know, just different random stuff, like a cactus that says hug me, and I'm not sure if that's good or bad, and different food stuffs, and look at the sparkle on that. Yeah, just fun. Fun, fun stickers, which I love. But... <clears throat> the item that I have been waiting for, that you have been waiting for, maybe. Um, I have been looking for these particular things for months now. Months. Okay? The last time I got them was at Dollar Tree like a couple of years ago. And I hadn't found them since. And y'all, who anybody who has gotten cards or anything from me, at least up until the past three or four months... I've seen some of these Lisa Frank stickers I had these on my Amazon wish list and they wanted like six or seven or eight dollars for this this very pack buck 25 buck 25 did I just buy one what do you think I'm new I bought all of them <laughs> look all of them every single pack that they had in that store which was 16 of them if you're counting um, <laughs> I couldn't help myself but look y'all the stickers are so stinking cute okay very colorful I am of a certain age I grew up with Lisa Frank okay always wanted the Lisa Frank trapper keeper which I did not have because it was expensive but look, so many cute stickers. And they say that there are 600 stickers in here. Um, you have to, you know, buyer beware. I knew this going in, of course. They include each of these little teeny tiny ones down here as stickers too. So yeah, there's 600 stickers. Most of them are tiny. But the big ones are really nice and really cute. They even have some holiday themed stickers in here, which are super cute. And look at these big, big rectangular ones. Love them. Love them. And now I can use my Lisa Frank stickers again. I have 16 books of them. Of course, anybody who has seen my haul videos before, like the one where I found the big chenille yarn at Walmart, if I remember, I'll link it there. When I went in and bought all of it. All of it. Yeah. I'm that girl. I'm sorry. Not sorry. <laughs> it kind of made my day a little bit because... Ooh, Lisa Frank stickers. Oh, you know what else made my day? Totally unrelated. Yesterday, we went into Livonia to go. We were going to go to Dairy Queen, actually. And you have to make a U-turn to get there. Just, it's a stupid setup, but whatever. And back behind where the Dairy Queen is was a Shoney's, like a million years ago. And it had been there for an eon, and then it closed. It was, it was suffering pre-pandemic, and then the pandemic hit, and I think they just gave it up. So whatever, okay? That's fine. It was gross. But, but, there was a brand new sign hanging on their big sign out by the road. A coming soon sign. I couldn't tell what was coming soon because the angle that we were at, I just couldn't see it until we turned around. And we turned around and I read it and I started hollering in the car. Y'all, Livonia stinking Georgia, okay, is getting a Korean barbecue restaurant. What? What? I was hollering. It was more than that. And I wasn't the only one hollering. The hubby was hollering too when he realized what I just read to him. We're both, ah, because Korean barbecue is life. Okay. So, sorry. Little excite little excitement in Livonia this weekend. 
I know you're probably not seeing this till later in the week, but I am recording this on Sunday. Same outfit. The hair's put up because it's warm in here. But, you know, that's my day off, and that's what happens. Anyway, thank you for coming by. What do you think about all my stickers? <laughs> do you like Lisa Frank? Are you of that age along with me? I know at least a couple of you are, because we've talked about it before. <laughs> Do you have a sticker obsession or a crayon obsession like I do? Or a yarn obsession? I know most of you have a yarn obsession. Let's be real. You're here. <laughs> Thank you for coming by. I appreciate you. Please leave a comment. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love it if you did that. And um, I'll see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.